So, all right, let's go to pick number nine. Chris, the Seattle Seahawks via the Russell Wilson trade with Denver are on the clock. Make the pick. At the number nine overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks pick Malik Willis, quarterback from Liberty, to be Russell Wilson's replacement. I think he has a lot of the same on-field style as Josh Allen, a similar college career that played at a small school level. Uh, but when he played those Power Five conferences, we saw the interceptions and the bad decision making. But in terms of his athleticism, the ability to make those big time throws down the football field, he's far and away better than any of the other quarterbacks at doing those things in this draft class. And I think the Seahawks still want to be competitive. They haven't traded DK Metcalf. They didn't field offers for Tyler Lockett. They can't go into this season with Pete Carroll at his age with Drew Locke as their starting quarterback. Makes sense in, in, in the sense that they need a quarterback. We've heard Snyder and, and Carroll say that they're, they're going to roll with Drew Locke. That's their guy. Of course, Jeremy, the combine, they also told us they were going to trade Russ Wilson. So we'll, we'll see how that plays out. <laughs> but here's the thing. If you're sitting there at nine and you have any questions about Malik Willis in terms of being a long-term starter and there are going to be questions there, I would think about Derek Stingley here. Derek Stingley has sort of the pre-draft arc that we saw last year from Jamar Chase, who didn't play in 2020 and then lit up his pro day. I feel Stingley's doing similarly, even though he had that foot injury and played in three games. But if you like Malik Willis enough to roll the dice on him, and I, we talked about this yesterday on the Pick 6 podcast, me and Traps, then you have to take a risk on a quarterback because you're not going to win this league without a quarterback. Drew Locke isn't a long-term answer, I don't believe, unless something magical happens in Seattle. So I get it. But I would think also about a, about a position like cornerback here with Derek Stingley still on the board. Chris Trapasso lives in Buffalo. What an insult to mention Josh Allen in the same <laughs> sentence with Malik Willis. My God. When Josh Allen came out, he actually played quarterback. I mean, he's throwing passes to guys. They bounced <laughs> off their chest because he's throwing the bouncers and bartenders. Malik Willis didn't play with good players either. But you know what? He's not a quarterback. He has, what he do, did at Liberty is not close to being playing quarterback in the NFL. He looks like a running back. He tucks the ball, one read and run. At least Josh Allen stood in there and made throws. I don't like this pick. I don't like the player. I think he's a second or third round pick in my book. Uh, so I wouldn't do this if I were the Seattle Seahawks. So I get to pan two of Chris's picks in the top ten. I love that. I mean, I, I'm wondering, Noah, has, has Pete liked any of the picks so far? Like, if this, Pete, Pete, are you just, ang just angry, off, get off my lawn guy? You've only liked your own pick so far. And even then, I think you've questioned your own pick at times. <laughs> Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.